This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on how to get organized for editing. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a proxy workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. One of the best things that you can do to improve editing is to edit using proxies. Now, everybody says, ooh, proxies are ugly, but look at it a different way. How much of our editing time are we spending trying to figure out what clip we want, looking at clips, figuring out what the clip order is going to be? We're not adding transitions. We're not adding titles. We're trying to figure out what the stupid story is of all the clips that we've shot. 90% of our edit is trying to make basic story decisions, not color grade. Why not work with proxies and, and decrease the overall stress on your system? To do that, click the plus button. In the plus button, see this icon right there? It's the toggle proxies icon. I'm going to grab this and just drag it down here. And there's our proxy button. Click OK. And whenever I want to toggle into proxies, click this button. When that button is blue, which is the exact same thing as clicking the proxies icon and preferences, I'm now viewing proxies. When this button is white, I'm now viewing camera native. It instantly switches between. Well, that's really helpful, except how do I create proxies? The easiest way to create proxies is on import. Let me illustrate. If we go to the media browser, you see this ingest button right here. Let's just make this larger by pressing the tilde key. I'm going to click ingest. This means that whenever I import a clip, either through media browser or the project panel with command I for import, I'm going to apply this ingest setting. And the ingest setting I'm going to apply comes from clicking the wrench and going to ingest settings. Here, I want to create proxies. Well, let's create proxies. So I select Create Proxies. It says, what kind of proxy do you want to create? Well, it's got a bunch of choices here, but none of the choices are the ones that I want. I want to work with something which is for 1080 video. I want to create a custom proxy. To do that, we'll go over to Media Encoder. Inside Media Encoder, we click the plus button, and when we say create an encoding preset, that means compressing for H.264, or an ingest preset, that means for Premiere. I'm going to create 1080, uh, let's see, 1080p proxies. We're going to match the frame size and frame rate. Audio is always uncompressed. We want to transcode the files. We're going to store them inside Premiere projects. It's going to be QuickTime. We'll select QuickTime. And we'll select Apple ProRes 4 to 2 Proxy. And now we'll click OK. With that 1080p proxies, let's click on Export. Save it to the desktop. Go back to Premiere. And add an ingest proxy. It's on the desktop. 1080 proxies. Click Open. There it is. And now what we've done is we've said we want to create proxies for our 1080 files and click OK. Now when I go to ingest media browser, we'll click this. Pond 5 starts with a P. Go to scenic. We'll do environment and click O. Now if we go back to Media Encoder, we can see in the background, Media Encoder is automatically creating the proxy for us. So now when I have here, the proxy's been created. Again, there's the proxy, and there is the camera master. And the whole proxy creation is automatic in the background, and switching between is as easy as clicking a single button. By the way, if proxies don't exist, it remains showing the original master file. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on how to get organized for editing. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 272A. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time.
you can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.